Hey guys, it's Sabi, and I'm here just to show you how to remove the watermark from your tilt brush videos. First, you'll need to find your documents folder. So go ahead and open up that folder and you'll see all the folders for your apps and software that you have on your computer that you've downloaded. And we want to take a look at the tilt brush file. So go ahead and locate that and double click that and open it. And step three, you're going to open the tilt brush config file. So it should be there within that folder. But before we go into how to do that, I just want to go through what each of these folders are. The exports folder is where you're going to find your exports. So when you make a painting in tilt brush and you want to export it out, it will be in this folder. And just a quick tip, there's a little trick you can perform to create a sort of loop of objects that you can import back into a new tilt brush sketch by using this export folder. So let's say you make like a tree in tilt brush and you want to use that, you know, in other sketches and paintings that you're doing in tilt brush. You can export that one single tree and it'll go into this ex export folder. So when you start a new sketch, you can go into your models folder inside tilt brush and actually pull that tree into your new sketch. Now it won't be the painted tree that you make, it will be an OBJ file. So it will look a little different, but it will still have the same shape, you know, if you need it as a reference. And so the next folder should be your media library folder. And here's where you can put picture references or OBJs that you download from the internet that you want to import into your sketch. You can put all of those in this folder. So there's going to be two separate folders once you open this one. One for references and then one for models. And then this will be the second part of creating that sort of loop of reference models. Once you make a model inside your sketch and you export it out to the exports folder, you can go into that exports folder and grab that model and then you would go into the media library folder and put that into the models folder and that way when you're in a new sketch you can actually open that up and grab that model. And personally I've used models or reference pictures in various ways like tracing, you know, to try and get the proportions correct on something or color sampling or even just using the piece within your painting. And sometimes this folder can get a little too full, so whenever you try to open up your your references window within your sketch, it can sometimes lag and take a little time to open. So what I do is just take some of those reference pictures and models that I'm not using and just create a new folder and that's what this folder is here, the reference pics storage. So I actually just created this folder on my own and just store any references and models that I'm not using so that it doesn't cause any lag within my sketch. And you can create any extra folders that you might need, you know, just to stay organized. As long as it doesn't have any command files or anything like that, um, you can store, you know, sketches within your tilt brush fol uh, your tilt brush folder, or you can move your reference pictures and models around. So the next folder is your sketches folder, and this is where you will find your sketches once you save a sketch. So like I was saying before, you can also move any of these extra sketches out to like an external hard drive or a cloud if they're small enough. You can upload them to Poly or even just save them in another folder within the Tilt Brush folder or somewhere else on your computer. And I really suggest that once you create a new sketch and you save it, when you're done and ready, um, go back and rename your file. For example, I have tons of sketches and a lot of times I don't know what they are. They just all say unnamed. So if I'm trying to go back and find a certain sketch to maybe shoot some video within it or take pictures of it, I have a really tough time figuring out which sketch I need. So definitely go back and rename them so that they're easier to identify. So the next folder is your snapshots folder and again this is where you will find your snapshots that you take within your tilt brush sketch 
and you're also going to find your gifts here. So they will end up here in this folder and you can go in there and grab those snapshots and share them on social media, email them to yourself or whatever you want to do, but they will be located there in that folder. And again, when you get a bunch of snapshots and gifts that just pile up in this folder, I definitely suggest moving them onto an external hard drive or a cloud or somewhere else just to keep things from, you know, lagging up. And so the next folder is your videos folder. So once you take a video within Toolbrush of your art piece, the video is going to spawn into the videos folder and it will spawn along with two other files. One is going to be a USDA and it looks like a little notepad with a little spiral on the top. That one, honestly, I don't really know what it's for, so I don't do anything with it. And then the other file is your batch file and it has the two gears on it. And that one is very important. So you can make HD videos here, 4K videos, 360 videos, um, and you can also make 360 videos of your sketch load. Pretty technical stuff in there. Um, they make it pretty easy where you just choose a number and you hit enter and then it starts to render your video. This does take a lot of computer power and time. So definitely look into that before you just start <laughs> making 360 videos. Or at least just maybe start with some a small sketch and kind of see how it goes. And so the next folder you may not see in your Tilt Brush folder at the moment unless you've made a 360 video already. Um, this is your VR videos folder. You can make a 360 video and once you do that it's going to spawn in this folder. So moving on to this next file is the Tilt Brush config file. So this is actually the one we are looking for and this is the one that we will work with to take off the watermark. If you would like a tutorial on any of these other features, please let me know in the comments below and I will make a video. So go ahead and double click on the Tilt Brush config file and that's going to bring us to step number four. If you don't have all of this in your file, you can go ahead and copy and paste it and overwrite everything that's in there. And I put it in the description below, but if you don't feel comfortable copy and pasting from there, you can go ahead and go to the official Tilt Brush release notes where is where I got it from and you can copy and paste from there as well. So. Just make sure that you are copying exactly from the beginning bracket at the top all the way down to the ending bracket at the bottom. And don't copy any extra spaces, just copy everything in, the, in between those brackets. And then what you can do is just go ahead and select everything in your Tilt Brush config file and then just paste this over everything. If you don't feel comfortable doing that yet, go ahead and just copy it off to the side before you paste these new commands into the config file and pasting it somewhere else just to keep it there for the moment, just in case you make a mistake. So you can paste this whole command section over what you already have in the file or you can just add the flag section, whatever you feel comfortable doing. I want to just explain a few command entries so you know what they are. This first section is where you can add your name as the author of the Tilt Brush sketches. You can leave a blank if you want. Um, I'm not really sure where it shows up, but the option is there. The section under Twitch is where you can put your personal stream key there and then you can actually pull your Twitch chat into your sketch while you're sketching if you're a streamer. And it also works for YouTube, you just put your channel ID right in that section. So the video section gives you lots of options to change frames per second or the resolution. You can even change camera smoothing. Play around with that number there. That's really fun because you can have effects like kind of the Blair Witch Project sort of where the camera is very shaky or just it's very reactive to your movements that would be like on a one but right now you can see that i have mine on 99 so that's kind of like a cadillac ride you know within my sketches when i'm recording so it's not jumpy it's not shaky it's just really smooth and you can also change the field of view and what that is is when you're recording or you take a picture within tilt brush there's a sort of out of focus you know kind of ring around 
the middle of the camera and when you have the field of view at 100 it will take that away completely so everything in the photo or the video will be in focus so you can kind of play around with that number as well and see what you prefer I prefer all of my snapshots and my videos to be super clear and in focus and this section here that is under flags now that's where you can turn features on and off like the watermark or showing your headset or your controllers within a video or if you're streaming you can actually take away your headset and your controllers so I like to actually keep mine on when I stream because that way um, you know the viewers can see what I'm doing so you can play around with that as well um, turning you know any of these flags on and off and as you see you can also control the um, resolution of your snapshots so let's go ahead and actually focus on the show watermark flag so if you see where it says true all you need to do is delete those four letters and add in the word false and just make sure you don't delete the space that is before the word and keep everything just as it is all you need to do is delete the word and then add in the word false and what that's going to do is it's going to turn off the watermark in your videos and your snapshots and this is really good because if you are making artwork and videos and things like that for commission work you probably don't want the tilt brush watermark in your video. So if you're confident that you did everything right, that you copied and pasted all the commands over without any mistakes, go ahead and go to file and save. And so that's going to overwrite what you had there before. But if you're not so confident and you want to kind of just test it out before you delete everything, you can do your save as and just give it a new name, save it back within the tilt brush folder. But then you're going to need to go ahead and remove the old config file out of there for the new one to take effect. And don't forget that you need to go ahead and close tilt brush down and restart. And that's it. I hope I made that, you know, really easy for you and that you're able to go in there and play around with the settings of tilt brush and have fun with that. If you have any questions or need clarification on anything that I said, please just uh, put it in the comments below and I will help you out. All right, take care.